Okay. The next performance that Oscar overlooked really astounds me. It's one of the finest performances of the 70s, Malcolm McDowell and Stanley Kubrick's film, A Clockwork Orange. It's about a society of the future trying to control violence. McDowell plays a futuristic street punk who enjoys kicking the stuffing out of old men and roughing up women. Now, what's remarkable about McDowell in A Clockwork Orange is his range of emotion, from a domineering gang leader to a whimpering, brainwashed victim of mind control. First, we see him as the gang leader beating his buddies into submission. From power demonstrated to power implied, that's what's coming up here now. After slashing his buddies, gang leader McDowell now takes quiet control of his henchmen. Watch McDowell's face here. It almost becomes a menacing death mask. Well, now we're back to where we were. Yes? Just like before and all forgotten? Right, right, right. Right. After some painful brain conditioning, McDowell's personality is transformed. He returns home from prison, only to find that his parents have taken in another son to replace him. McDowell would normally get angry, but he's been programmed to get sick whenever he feels a violent urge coming on. How do you do, Joe? Find the room comfortable, do you? No complaints? I've heard about you. I know what you've done. Breaking the arts of your poor grieving parents. So you're back, eh? You're back to make life a misery for your lovely parents once more, is that it? Well, over my dead corpse you will, because you see, they've let me be more like a son to them than like a lodger. Joe, Joe! Don't go fighting me, uh, boys! A terrific performance, but I think I know why this performance was ignored by Oscar. In any film by Stanley Kubrick, pictures like 2001 A Space Odyssey, Barry Lyndon, it's the film and Kubrick's direction of it, not the actor, that mm -hmm. is the star. Mm -hmm. McDowell was overshadowed by Kubrick, the director, and Oscar, in the process, ended up ignoring an impressive piece of acting. You know, you're absolutely right, and it's true of critics, too, with a director like Kubrick, yes. who controls every aspect of his film totally from beginning to end. We say, Stanley Kubrick's 2001. Think quick. Who starred in it? A little hard to remember, isn't it? Gary Lockwood? And Keir DeLay, okay. right, but we were just thinking of it. It's, you think of it as a Kubrick film. The only other director like that that I can think of is Alfred Hitchcock. Yes. He was so much in control of the whole production that even though he uses some of Hollywood's top stars, they don't necessarily win their Oscar nominations for Hitchcock film. People think of, oh, that was Hitchcock's film. That wasn't Cary Grant or that wasn't Ingrid Bergman. You're right. Uh, one of the things that McDowell does in the film is so well is simply survive it. He's got a mm -hmm. lot to mm -hmm. do in the picture. He stomps on people. He gets stomped on himself. Uh, he almost is drowned in one sequence. It's a remarkable physical piece of acting. He's in virtually every scene a superior performance.